The idea of the Internet Archive has helped the Internet become the Library of Alexandria version 2. Can we make all the books, music, video, web pages, software ever made by people available to everybody that wants to have access to it? Technologically, we can do this. We started out by collecting websites because we thought that was a very ephemeral media that was disappearing from the world. Um, but then we soon moved on to other kinds of published works. We're trying to collect that and bring it into one place, one library that serves the entire world. It actually turns out to be quite doable. A book is about a megabyte, and the largest library in the world is the Library of Congress, which is 26, 28 million books. That makes 28 terabytes. 28 terabytes isn't that much and you can apply that over and over again. YouTube or something like that or Flickr, if you go for all of it, is too big for us. So we just try to find the parts that are referred to by others and we archive those. So where we are is a former church and the reason why we bought this building was because it matched our logo. And so we thought we'd flatten the floor and make it into a library. But what a library looks like is a little unclear, so we left the pews. So I'm sitting on a pew right now and um, we use it for working, for having performances. Um, we even have uh, little statues of all of the people that have worked at the Internet Archive for three years or more in this space to make it a sort of a community place uh, for open internet conversation to happen. When we started to collect the web, most people thought we were either crazy or kind of dumb for even trying. I mean, why, why bother? The average life of a web page is 100 days before it's either changed or deleted. So if we didn't collect it, most of the web would be gone now. I think we have an idea in our heads that once it's been put out there, it, it's always going to be there. It will never disappear. That is absolutely not true. I'd say we're information activists. We are people that believe in the power of openness. The key thing about the internet and the World Wide Web is that it's us. It's all just us. We've built a trusting celebration that is the World Wide Web over the last 20 years. Let's keep it going.